Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mantan Gurbi DPS. So everyone, in the last video we have done the history class 6 chapter number 7 and in this video we will do the question answers of the chapter. So, who founded the modern empire and when the most easiest question Chandragup Maurya, the grandfather of Ashoka founded the modern empire more than 2300 years ago. Next, who supported Chandragup? Yes, Chandragup was a Buddha wise man named Chanakyar Kotilya. Next, in which book? Arshastra. Who wrote Arshastra? Chanakyar Kotilya. Very good. Next, what were written down in Arshastra? Many of Chanakya's ideas were written down. Next, explain the word dynasty. When the members of the same family become rulers one after another, the family is known as the dynasty. Okay, and for example, the modern dynasty or the Gupta dynasty. Next, Write the names of three rulers of the modern empire, the Bindusara, Chandragupta and Ashoka. Next, write the name of the modern capital, that is Patliputra. Now, make the list of the important cities, that is Ujjain, Takshila and Patliputra. Write an important event related with the date, that is the, um, that is related related to the beginning of the modern empire. Now, what was Ashoka's Dhamma? Ash Dhamma is a Prakrit word and for Sanskrit term is dharm and Ashoka Sama did not involve any worship of God or performance of sacrifice. Next, the long question answers here are how is an empire different from the kingdoms? Okay, now it's very easy. No emperors need more resources than kings as the empires are larger and need to be protected by larger armies. Okay, next, emperors also have to have a large number of officials who collect taxes okay now who was Meghastans and write one reason for which he is known even today Meghastans was an ambassador who was sent to the court of Chandrakup Maurya by Greek ruler of West Asia named Seleucus Nicator okay and uh, Mikhastans wrote an account on what he saw and his description caught a form of a in book enlightened Indica okay so his book ka naam kya tha? Indica next mention three uh, mention any three big or prominent cities of the modern empire. Okay, so we have cities study Patliputra, Takshila and Ujjain. Patliputra, uh, this was the capital town of modern empire and it was the main center of all political activities and administration. Okay? So Patliputra, this was the capital town of modern empire and it was the main center of all political activities and administration. Takshila, is ke to aate hai, Takshila. Now it is in the uh, modern day it's in the Pakistan. Okay, now nowadays it's in the modern Pakistan, and Takshila was a gateway to northwest, including Central Asia. Next, Ujjain. Ujjain lay on the route from North India to South India. Okay, and merchants, officials, and craft persons uh, probably lived in the three above mentioned cities. Next, mention main features of the administrative system of the modern empire. So, as the modern empire was very large, different parts were ruled differently. Now, the area around Patliputra was under the direct control of the emperor. And this means that the officials were appointed who collect taxes from farmers, herders, craft persons and traders in villages and towns in the area. Now modern government's officials also punish those who disobey the orders of ruler's order. Then some of the modern officials were given salaries. Okay. Then messengers were sent to and fro and spices kept a watch on the officials. Spices means jasus. Okay. okay. Next, the modern emperor supervised all of the official spices um, ambassadors etc. probably with the help of the members of the royal family and some senior ministers. Okay. So this was the question. Next. Who was the most famous ruler of the modern dynasty? Very easy question. And how did he try to teach? Through inscriptions. Okay. And that was Ashoka. So the most famous ruler of uh, the modern dynasty was Ashoka. And Ashoka was the first ruler who tried to teach his message to the people through inscriptions. Okay. And the most of the Ashoka's inscriptions were written in Prakrit and were in the Brahmi script. Okay. Now... Uh, what were the means adopted by Ashoka to spread the message of Dhamma? Ashoka appointed officials called Dhamma Mahamattas to go from place to place and tell people about Dhamma. Ashoka got his message inscribed on rocks and pillars too in a language known as Prakrit. Okay. 
and which was comprehensible to all and messengers were also sent to the other parts of the land and what were that syria egypt okay hmm. next yes sri lanka as well next make a list of the occupations of the people who lived within the modern empire theek hai mid modern empire mein jo log rehte the unki occupations unke kaam jo wo karte the wo likhna hai hame so they were trade or commerce theek hai traders the to wo trade karte the theek hai jobs with emperors theek hai officials kept karte jinko salaries milti the jobs with emperors theek hai crafts then agriculture most important thing then animal rearing okay forest produce gathering then um, hunting animals for food this we read in the starting only then fishing theek okay? hai now what were the problems that ashoka wanted to solve by introducing dhamma there were so many problems yeah there were the, that there were the communalism violence or killing of animals okay he wanted protection or ahimsa or non violence then quality he liked mercy or kindness towards slaves and servants theek hai ha ye humne padha tha na ki that we should not ill treat the slaves and servants okay humne padha tha ki that uh, um, slaves and servants they were treated as the property of their owners they were ill treated yeah uh so he didn't want all of these theek hai and it was communalism theek hai violence or killing was also the sacrifice of animals were there yeah then um, to maintain peace in families yeah uh, we also read that there were quarrels in the families and the neighbors yeah then um, uh, we should respect one's elders then treating all creatures with compassion giving gifts to brahmans and monks show respect to other religions too and try to understand the main ideas of the other religions okay hmm. so here the chapter ends okay so question answers and the full explanation is done so everyone bye stay safe and please like subscribe to my channel